Hi, I'm Raj. If you haven't been to my channel, it's great to see you here. If you're building frontends, you probably would have heard of Shatsy and UI and also understand how it transformed the UI library ecosystem. There are quite a few libraries in the market that follow the same philosophy as Shatsy and UI, where you can copy and paste the components in your code base instead of trying to install the whole library. And Magic UI is one of them. It's a library of open source animated components that are built on top of React, Tailwind Thesis, TypeScript, and Frame Emotion. And you can build impeccable landing pages and other compound components using this library. And they are also sponsoring this content. The reason I agreed to take this sponsorship is really simple. I'm already using a couple of the components in my code base that I'm building. And I personally think it's great, so that's the reason why. That being said, it's not an entirely paid library because you can also use a lot of components for free and only buy pro components if you find value in those free components. It looks pretty straightforward to install and also you can run this on top of your existing chat scene UI setup because they both use Tailwind CSS. If you look at the component section, there are free and pro subsections. In the free section, you can find the free components, special effects, text animations, buttons and backgrounds that you can use entirely for free. And I have a few personal favorites from this list. Uh, the first one on my list is this beautiful animated bento style grid with different boxes with a really subtle hover animation. And this notification animator list. And then this magic doc component inspired by Mac OS doc component. I think this is one of the smoothest doc animations that I've ever seen. The other ones that I've seen are a bit jarring because uh, the animations are all over the place, but this one seems to be really smooth in terms of how it's animated. And also this number component that could be really useful when you want to showcase a number of downloads and any other metrics in form of numbers. Finally, the last one on my list is a super sweet retro grid component, which I suppose I will use for the next landed page. I've also added some components from this library to a starter app that I built using Shatsy and UI's Next.js template, and it seems to work pretty well. Uh, plus, on top of that, it also respects the dark mode toggle you apply using Shatsy and UI. And you can find the code base in the description. From what I've seen, usually the libraries that have a commercial aspect to them always seem to have a better code base than the ones that are entirely free. The pro version also looks pretty solid. You get a lot of components that you will otherwise need a lot of time to build. For example, these feature cards and also the startup template that you get as part of the pro purchase. If you decide to purchase the paid version of this library to access the pro components, at the time of the recording, there is a great discount where you get the pro version for just $29, where you get all the extra components plus the template and also lifetime support. I will add the link in the description for this library and purchase. Please use that link to support this channel. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will talk to you soon.